Speaking of Hope, Hope Hicks is here. Where's Hope Hicks? Where's Hope Hicks? The great Hope Hicks. You know, she was tested positive, but she's okay. Where's Hope? We want Hope, right? We want Hope. I used to say, we want Hope. And all these crazy people said, yeah, we want Hope. Where's Hope? Where's Hope? Come here. Come here. Come here, Hope. He said something along the lines of, um, you know, nobody will care about my legacy if I lose. Um, so that won't matter. Um, the only thing that matters is, is winning. Do you ever wonder what happens to Trump's inner circle after that circle closed in on all of them? Well, former presidential aide Hope Hicks is currently consulting for Sheehan. Shein, for those of you who don't know, is a Chinese Singaporean fast fashion brand. And it's not just any fast fashion brand, it is the worst of them. They've got serious problems with human rights abuses, and instead of just doing better as a company, they've decided to embark on a whole PR campaign. Shein gained popularity amongst Gen Z for selling super cheap clothing. It's like what Forever 21 was for millennials, but way worse. The clothes are poorly made, but the prices are impossible to beat, so they appeal to people who may be strapped for cash but still need something to wear. Shein caught some flack, let's call it, when it was revealed that it was using forced labor to produce its clothing and source its materials, specifically in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in China. The Uyghur Muslims, along with other ethnic minority groups in that region, have long been oppressed by the Chinese government. Apart from forced labor, the Chinese government has suppressed their language, culture, and religious practices, forcing Chinese assimilation through marriage and more. There is constant surveillance of these people, detentions, and torture, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, they were forced to continue working in closed quarters. And apart from human rights abuses, Xi'an's name often comes up as a case in point in discussions surrounding the environmental impacts of fast fashion and similarly fast industries. And apart from even all of that, they're constantly being accused of plagiarizing clothing designs and evading import tariffs. It's just terrible. If something is very cheap, you have to understand that there is a cost somewhere that someone is paying. If you want well and ethically made things, you have to pay for labor. Now, for the record, Shan denies all of this, but as I mentioned earlier, rather than raise their prices and disengage from the alleged forced labor supply chain, Shan has just decided to clean up its image via a strategic PR campaign. A lot of people buy Shein because it's cheap, fast fashion. It's fashionable stuff you can get for not a lot of money. But some of these social media stars posting glowing reviews after touring Shein's facilities in Guangzhou, China. Listen to how influencer Dani Carbonari talked about the trip. China trip has been one of the most life-changing trips of my life. Xi'an is just such a developed and complex company, and it was so beautiful to see firsthand. So that post is not on Carbonari's Instagram page anymore, but there's a lots of comments on her other posts saying she's tone deaf, saying she made a mistake and should take accountability. Last year, Xi'an paid a group of American influencers to go to China and tour their facilities. These influencers were supposed to create content about their visit, telling all of their followers about how great Xi'an is, despite accounts from actually reputable sources saying otherwise. And the backlash against these influencers was swift. They took the money, they took this free trip to China to show for a notoriously horrible and exploitative company. Their credibility as influencers was immediately called into question, especially as one of them even went so far as to refer to herself as an investigative journalist. All the PR campaign did was highlight how deceptive the company actually was and the lengths it was willing to go to to continue to engage in unethical business practices. Additionally, Shin has been hiring Washington lobbyists to help rehabilitate its image, and now it's being reported that Trump's former presidential aide, Hope Hicks, has been working with the company for about a year. Hicks has a small consulting firm, but her contract with Shin was never publicly reported as it should have been, which could land her in some hot water. So if the question is, 
Who will hire you after working for someone like Donald Trump? The answer is someone worse than Donald Trump will hire you. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.